So I'm here with a team from New Zealand, Ben Jagersma, and we're going to talk a little bit about their project house, which I'm guessing is called First Light. Yep, that's and, correct. And where'd you get that name? Um, it's, it, it came out of the fact that New Zealand is the first country in the world to see the light, so we're way down in the bottom of the southern hemisphere, and um, it's actually um, tomorrow in New Zealand at the moment. Really? Uh, yep, so it sort of came out of that, grew out of that and being a solar decathlon. It all sort of centered around the sun. And it, and it looks like you have basically two separate modules in the house with some sort of a connector in between. Is that, does it break down into more than two pieces or is it? Yeah, it does. It's actually modularized into um, five pieces. The two, the two side buildings are each split into two buildings on the left-hand side um, and, and, and three separate modules on the right um, sized so that they can be shipped on two flat rack containers. Mm -hmm. um, and then the central piece, which is sort of the main focal point of the whole design, is will be flat packed and, and, and built just off site before we get to Washington and then and then delivered onto the mall or, or, or wherever the house will be on display in the US. And it, it, it almost looks like your your roof is upside down. What's well that sort of came out of the fact that when you get down low, if we get down low here and look up, you want to see these these the, the pattern of the louvers. Yes. Um, so that's that's kind of the thing. You get the rhythm of the, the shading screen rather than the rafters and things that, that support it. So How do I all, keep the water out? Well, the water is all is collected from underneath the solar canopy. So the purpose of this canopy is to support the PVs, uh, to provide passive shade or shading for, for the, the, the southern glazing. In other words, this isn't really my roof. This is, this is solar shading and That's I have right. a roof below yep, that. Yep, your roof is completely below that and um, your, your envelope is completely below that, which gives us is, has a, a lot of advantages and it gives us this unique form which I think is quite unique to, to our design um, bringing your your eye into the central space which is the really important feature of the house and you have a very large outdoor space here but it, you were able to keep the central part of the house itself under a thousand square foot yeah that's right so the house is about 813 square feet so it's fairly um, you're right around the average here yep yep yep, yep it is and um, but we've got the central space which opens right up onto the deck. So a big thing about living in New Zealand is that, that you live as much outside as you do inside. It's a really important part of, of, of how we live down there. We've got quite a moderate climate and so opening up both doors on both sides allow the central space to be become almost like the outside. Um, and yet it gives you the, the, the opportunity to be able to close it off. Um, and have this nice interior space. So it's indoor spaces, fully interacting with outdoor spaces. That's right. Yep. And uh, cost-wise, are you are you confident you're going to stay under the two hundred and fifty thousand dollars? Yep, or are we you, are. Well, yep, you yep, are. Yeah. Well, at, at this stage, we we feel like that we, that two fifty thousand US is an achievable mark for us. Okay. Um, we've got a tr tradition of building quite cheaply in New Zealand. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be easy for you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well. Yeah. It's. Um, I think we, we're we're on track. Well, great. Good luck with the project. Yeah, thanks a lot.